Hey, this is Jay bringing you a guide on how to get strange coins in the Taken King DLC in Destiny. Now, before the Taken King, we used to be able to do a weekly mission where we could pick the level of difficulty, and based on that level of difficulty, you'd either get three coins, six coins, or nine coins. And if you did that on three characters, you could really rack up some serious coins pretty fast. In a matter of 45 minutes to an hour and a half, you could have 27 strange coins each and every week. Now, no longer can you do this, but there's still plenty of other ways that you can get strange coins in the Taken King. So I'm going to go through some of those. And we might as well talk about Motes of Light because we're going to see those along the same path. So here we are completing a Nightfall though. You're going to probably want to try to get your Nightfall done at the reset because that's going to help you level up or rank up other areas faster. But as you can see, one of the possible rewards for a Nightfall is a handful of Strange Coins. I got 10 right there. I've seen 12, I've seen 9, I've seen different amounts. Now this is at the end of a regular strike. You can see there's some Ingrams that drop. Now watch the bottom right hand corner though. As you can see, there were three modes of light. Sometimes I see strange coins here, sometimes I see modes of light. So any activity really in the game can result in strange coins. Here's the actual activity reward screen, and there you can see two of us got a strange coin there. So not a whole lot. You also see this in PvP though. After a match, I think I end up getting a mode of light. Yeah, and somebody else ended up getting a strange coin. So just by doing all the regular activities in the game, you're gonna see the occasional strange coin or mode of light. Now, if you wanna get some more, you might want to check out PoE matches. There I got uh, one, then three, and then I think I end up getting one more. So sometimes you can see as many as five or so by completing a PoE match. Now it takes you a long time to get through these though, so I don't know if it's as effective or some of the other ways. But here I am just turning in some bounties. And as you can see, there's a strange coin just by turning in some bounties. You also can get motes of light. There's two motes of light. So by turning in your bounties and everything, you're gonna see those drop as well. And also too, when you turn in your bounties, a lot of times you're gonna rank up and actually get packages for ranking up your Vanguard and everything like that. So here I am getting a Vanguard package. Any package that you get is gonna give you five motes of light and five strange coins. So you're gonna really want to make sure that you do a bunch of bounties. Here I am ranking up my gunsmith by doing gunsmith bounty rankings and testing weapons. You know, you're gonna to wanna to do the factions and the Vanguard bounties, the Crucible bounties and everything like that because all of those, like I said, are gonna give you the five modes of light and five strange coins. Now, here I'm showing you, if you're really desperate for coins, you could actually rank up your faction package by using modes of light or heavy ammo cakes or something like that. If you're in a real pinch, need those five coins, really Really quick you could do this and end up getting those five strange coins so that's another good way to do that but also to your crypt art is going to give them and when you actually decrypt blue engrams sometimes they turn into motes of light as you can see there and sometimes they turn into strange coins so just by doing these things and uh, decrypting blue engrams you're going to see yourself picking up strange coins and motes of light a good place to pick up engrams are by doing the strikes and also doing the court of oryx in the bounty or in the patrol area uh, on the dreadnought but those are some ways to get strange coins. Of course, every time you level up your character, you have a chance of getting strange coins and motes of light. Even if you get to level 40, you still have that experience bar. It's at the bottom where my feet are. If you back out of there, you can see that thing. Every time you level that up, sometimes you'll see three motes of light drop and different things drop for that. But you wanna spend your strange coins or you use your strange coins with Xur, the agent of the nine. You can buy weapons, armor, you can buy this three of coins thing. You also can trade two strange coins for a moat of light. So if you're really desperate for moats of light, which you're probably not going to be anymore, but that's another possibility. Also too, you can actually visit the speaker to my right. If you have radiant energy or energy and shards that are just lying around you're not using, you can trade those to him for moats of light when you dismantle your old gear or your old weapons or weapons that you don't want or gear that you don't want, a lot of times those will drop motes of light as well. Now, what can you use motes of light for? Well, this is really cool. As you can see, I have a Boolean Gemini in my primary weapon slot that is not ranked up. And I'm just gonna use these motes of light to just hold X on the Xbox. And really takes about 24 motes of light to fully upgrade or fully unlock a an exotic 
weapon. So as you can see, I used probably about 10 or so right there, and I unlocked it about halfway. So if you get something that you really want to rank up really fast or unlock really fast to start using, use some motes of light. I think I've got like 600 right now, so you can definitely do that. Just make sure when you're using those motes of light like that, that you just take advantage of every area that you can equip something because everything that you have equipped will gain experience and unlock things. As you can see, it's not going to be just my Boolean Dynasty. It's also going to be my pieces of armor. And the armor takes more. I'm not sure how many it takes to actually upgrade something, but it is more than it does for the weapons. But definitely take advantage of that. Uh, I'm hoping that this guide helps you out, though. Like I said, you cannot gain the strange coins as fast as you could, but I think now you actually have the ability to gain more strange coins in a matter of a week if you really just think about what you're doing. And also try to do multiple things at the same time. When you're doing a strike, also make sure that you're working on bounties. That way you can get coins from the strike and from doing the bounties. So just make sure you're just uh, thinking about what you're doing and maximizing your efforts. But hopefully this helps you out. If it does, I would really appreciate it if you give it a, a thumbs up. Make sure you check out whereisthere.com for all your Zer needs and all your Zer questions. But guys, as always, take care and God bless.